The next test I want to mention briefly is a comprehensive stool analysis. Stool. You guys know what stool is, right? What's the technical term? Poo poo. Okay. So I have three kids, so I can say poo poo and pee pee. It's okay. All right, so this is a stool test. And so why would you do a stool test? Now, I'll be honest, I don't recommend a stool test a lot. I'm just going to say that right out of the gate. I don't recommend a stool test a lot. Now, if somebody has major digestive issues and gas and bloating and everything goes right through them and there's all kinds of different issues, I'm going to assume there's an infectious issue going on in the gut. And let's say they do an oats test and it comes back perfectly clean. Let's just say they have no yeast, candida, mold, fungus, whatever. It comes back perfectly clean. Um, I might recommend a stool test because what a stool test does do is checks a whole lot of microbes that the oat test doesn't check. Because people can have H. pylori. You can check H. pylori through a stool test. And a whole lot of organism, other organisms checked through a stool test. You can also check parasites through a stool test. So it has uh, a comprehensive stool test with parasitology, which will check parasites. Unfortunately, the parasite test is not often very accurate. That's just, again, the honest truth. Because to actually like have a parasite coming out of your stools means it has to be dead. So you would probably have to be doing a parasite cleanse or something for it to show up on a stool test. But it does show up sometimes. So again, the main reason to do a stool test is you have all kinds of digestive issues. It's not anything that showed up on an oat test. It could be H. pylori. It could be a number of other bacteria. Or it could be parasites. A stool test is what's going to check that. So that is your reason to do a stool test.